it is rated F. So I'm passing this around. What I also have on the table is I have a little basket of the, I put the host rewards in something like this, and I have a basket out, and I usually do the 750 range with um, up to 10 buying guests, because that's an average party for, for me usually. And, um, and so I have everything in there so they can kind of see it, and it's a way for me to have my little bags and, and everything like that. So this is um, the, the summer rewards. If I don't have the exact color of something, like I don't have the greens, I just put something in it. So it doesn't have to be the exact thing, just give them an idea. Okay, so that's happening beforehand, so now we will um, go to the party. So um, I just wanted to take a moment, I'm so glad you guys came. How many of you guys have heard about Moe? Okay, I'd love to have a mix. So we're gonna have a lot of fun, as some of you know, and some of you guys are just gonna be in for a real education and a real treat. We're gonna learn a lot of new um, new things today. So Linda, thanks so much for hosting. Really appreciate you opening up your home, and um, I know it took a lot to get everybody here, and you know we just wanna have fun. So I wanted to give you a little gift just right off the start because I really do appreciate my host, and um, so I always like to start off giving them a little a little gift. So. We'll you know enjoy that. Thank you. You're welcome. So after we get started, you know Linda really loved the products and she just really wanted to introduce them to you. And so when we get started, you're gonna really want everything. So when you find that you're in that dilemma, you're gonna want to do what Linda did. You have your girlfriends over, you're gonna want to share it. So you want to be the cool kid on the block, right? So that's um just keep that in the back of your mind that this is something you can do. And I really make it hit the easy button as you saw Linda just sent you a quick little invite and. And here you are. All right, so we're going to talk about the Norwex mission. So Norwex, anyone knows what Norwex means? It means the Norwegian experience. We started 25 years ago in Norway, and we were actually a debt-free company. Many companies cannot say that. Usually that's why things are called Black Friday, because they're in the red until Black Friday. So they're all in your long <laughs> long <laughs> long <laughs> long <laughs> are a debt-free company. So that's really impressive. Um, and I just want to talk about our mission. We are really dedicated to improving quality of life by greatly reducing the amount of chemicals that we use in our home. So that's what we're going to get education on today. So let's talk about some statistics and why that mission is so important to get those chemicals out of our home and start living a more clean, healthy lifestyle. But first, we have a little PSA from our sponsors. You are number one, Linda. So what I do is, if I to get encouragement, I pass around some facts and I tell them in their announcer voice or, or radio voice to say a little something. That's so good. It kind of breaks dice. That's fine. Did you know the average household contains about 62 toxic chemicals? So the average household, 62 toxic chemicals, really? That's a lot. So let's talk about how we can get rid of those and just what all we see in that. So you know in the last 50 years, since the late 60s, over 86,000 chemicals have been introduced into our society, with only about 250 of those being tested on our long-term health. That's a staggering statistic. And what have we really seen on the increase since then? We have seen the rise in cancer. One in three people now have cancer. ADD, ADHD. How often did we hear of those 30 years ago? We didn't. Um, infertility, autism, asthma. So we see all these things have clearly been on an increase. Back before the late 1960s, what were people cleaning with? Not all of these chemicals. So we can really see that there must be a direct correlation to the chemicals that we're seeing on the shelves every day and what we're bringing into our home. There's three ways that we take in chemicals. We inhale them. We eat them with our fruits and veggies if they're not cleaned properly, and also the absorption through our skin. It only takes them 28 seconds for things to be absorbed into our skin, into our bloodstream. So everything that we're using going into our skin, we're absorbing that. So we're all carrying something called a body burden. And so the amount of chemicals that are already in our body, and even with children, we think that they don't have, they haven't been exposed to as many chemicals, but they're already being tested to have 200 chemicals in their cord blood before they're even born, been exposed. So it's really, that's, that just shows how we are really ingesting these things. So when we're thinking about cleaning and what we're cleaning with, do we want to be ingesting these things? Do we want to be eating these things? So that's how we're going to talk about to get rid of those, and we're going to introduce Norwex. So Norwex offers the solution to all of that and eliminating that out of our home. So the average household spends between six to $800 a year on cleaning products. 
I'm going to show you the Safe 5 is $99. So instead of spending six $800 a year, it's only $99. That's all it's going to cost you to get rid of all of that. And we're going to be able to clean 90% of our home with that. And we have another PSA from our sponsor. <laughs> Did you know that 51,000 plus trees are cut down daily for North America's paper towel habit? Thank you, 51,000 trees, that's insane. Think about it, we go to Costco, we buy a big thing of paper towels, all that's going into our landfills. How much money is just going out the drain, right? We're just throwing that money away, so we definitely want to reduce that. So I'm going to introduce our first two products of the same five. It's going to be our Enviro cloth and our window cloth. So with these two products, you are going to be able to clean so much. It's going to save so much time. It's going to blow you away. So you might be familiar with microfiber. Microfiber needs to be one sixth split of your human hair that's federally regulated. So what's different about, what is different about Norwex microfiber? Ours is a minimum of one 200. So what I do at this point is I usually have all the products and I'll pass it around so they can feel the difference and see the difference. So with our microfiber, it is a minimum of one two hundredth the split of a human hair. So this little cloth right here will go all the way from Canada down to the Gulf of Mexico. 1,800 miles of fabric in this one cloth. So we can see that's like 200 little fingers just going at it and cleaning everything up off the surface. So it's going to be removing um, all the bacteria and grime on the surface. The other thing that makes ours unique is it has something called backlog technology. Now what that is, is that is microsilver is embedded in the cloth. And what microsilver is, is a natural antimicrobial. And what that means, do you ever get those stinky smelly cloths? Oh, it's awful. You feel like after you use one every day, you have to clean it. You can't just keep using it over and over because it gets so stinky. Well, by having the microsilver, since it's a natural antimicrobial, what it does, it goes to work and it doesn't allow the moldy mildew to grow within the cloth. It's self purifying the cloth. So after we're done using our Enviro cloth, we can rinse it really good, hang it to dry on its little trusty tag, and everything is always labeled and has a tag. And within 24 hours, it's able to be used again. And the reason why hanging it is so important is after we're done using it, all that oxygen gets to flow through here, and so it allows that microsilver to do its job and, and self-purify the cloth. And I pair it with our window cloth. So these are some of our microfiber cloths. When I explain our microfiber, it's going to cover everything of all, how all of our microfiber works in the catalog. Um, and I'll hand this out afterwards. So, um, let's see what these do. Oh, and the last thing is two-year warranty on everything. So all of our microfiber has a two-year warranty. When's the last time you bought a cleaning rug that had a two-year warranty? Yeah, you can't really say that. So let's get to the fun. Let's get to the action. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how well it cleans your mirrors. How many of us have mirrors that are just, oh, there it seems like you always get stuff on them and they're just hard. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take some balm here and we're going to make a mess. So Linda had said there's, or uh, Marisa had said about 51,000 towels. How many of us throw these away like crazy? Paper towels, right? So, and use something like a Windex. How many, do you guys use a Windex and paper towel? So think every time we pick these up, we're putting them into the landfills. Also, when we're spraying this, what, we're filling our lungs up with this. Sometimes it even makes us cough, doesn't it, when we use something like this? So, and this is also going into the landfill. So just by reducing these two things alone, by using these two products, you're already saving time and money. So let's just see how well something like this works versus our Norwex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray our Windex on here. And I'm going to take this. And what do we see happening? Nothing. Right? It's just smearing it. It's not getting it off. And how much of this product am I going to have to keep using over and over again, right? So I'm gonna take our Norwex, and this is our Enviro cloth, our E for everything cloth. So when you pass this around, it has a little tag on it, E for Enviro cloth, so you just think it's gonna go ahead and take everything off, and I'm going to remove what's on the surface here. It's best if we fold it flat, because that way when it's flat, rather than bunched up, we have a flat surface so it can do its job and pick everything up. And I call these the peanut butter and jelly, I don't use one without the other, so when I'm cleaning, I always have my window cloth, which is also labeled as says window on my shoulder, and I have this um, in my hand. And this is just a little bit damp. 
So I'll run it out. It's not going to be dripping wet or anything, just a little bit damp. And you're going to see how it picks up all of that off. Do you see how easy it's just picking it up? So I picked it up. I just flipped that over. And now I'm going to take my window cloth. I'm going to dry. How quick did that happen? Straight free, a few seconds. Aren't you excited? Can you imagine how much time this is going to save you? Now, if we have children, would you want to give them the Windex and say, help mommy clean? No, because we know it's a chemical. Now I believe in child labor. <laughs> I say, here, help mommy clean. You can go ahead, hand them these, and let them go to town, right? Another product that we also might be very familiar with when we see it's on the number one product on our children's school is, is something called wipes, disinfectant wipes. Now, they do say disinfectant wipes. And these sanitize, they disinfect, and they even, it even says it kills. Now, when I have mentioned my microfiber, I haven't used any of those words. I have said remove. So I'm doing a mechanical clean versus a chemical clean. When I'm doing a chemical clean, um, whatever product I'm using is still going to stay on the surface. Whereas when I'm using just my water and microfiber, it's not, it, there's nothing left on the surface. It's removing anything off the surface. But has anybody ever read the back of this to know? how it kills the 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. So let's just look at the back of this for a minute. Since we're all familiar with it, we all use it. Um, it says that we must wear it using gloves. How do you always use it wearing gloves? It also says in order to kill and do that, that we need to let those surface remain visibly wet for four minutes. We need to use enough product to have the surface visibly wet for four minutes. How many of you have done that? No. Also, it says it's a pesticide, it's hazardous to children, keep away from children, and to pets. And if we're using it around food, then we're supposed to take water and wipe it up. How many of us have done that? So whenever we use this and we've cleaned maybe a kid's toy or anything, have we ever removed it again with water or cleaned it? No. So when our kids take that and put it into their mouth, what's happening? They're eating the chemical. So now we kind of see why things are going, you know, skyrocketing as far as the cancers and AD and HD and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a demo called the Glow Germ demo. And I take Glow Germ, and what this is, I get this on Amazon. This is not a Norwex product, and I am going to put it on here. And this, they teach this, um, they use this in school to teach kids how to clean their hands properly. You're going to see that it glows. So I take my black light, and you see that it's glowing? And I'm going to need a volunteer, because it's kind of hard for me to hold this and wipe. So do I have a volunteer? All right. Thank you, Dan. So I'm going to take one of these, and at this point, well, I'll get that in a minute. So I put on a glove because I don't want to touch the chemical because it says, you know, it, it is a pesticide. And if we were actually just put all of our chemicals out next to our doorstep, um, they, it's called, it's hazmat material. They, they can't just take it. Wow. So here we have that in our homes. And we, we think nothing uses it. So that's why it's so important that we actually make sure that we are using it properly. So I'm going to do this. Clean it up with this. And what do we see happening? Yeah, we see that it's just smearing. <laughs> and look what's happened. It's went right through, straight onto my skin. So now if I touch my face, what's happening? Whatever bacteria I've just picked up, I'm now putting even on my face or whatever I touch. So now we see why kids get so sick. Because at schools, they're using this. They go from desk to desk. Do you think they're using a new Florence wipe for every desk? No, they are not. So I'm going to take my damp and viral cloth, and it's just one side. What do we see? Looks nice. Yeah, it automatically just moves it off. It just water and microfiber. Now, if I were to take this again, what happens? It puts it right back on. But yet again, we can see that it's on my cloth. When I do this, it picks it right up. It stays within the cloth. It doesn't transfer out of the cloth. So now. Do you want to take these with you if you're on an airplane or if you're at a restaurant or anything? And plus disposable, something a consumable are always going to have to buy? No, you'd rather have something like this, right? Just this item. So can you already think about all the products that you can clean to be using just these two items and everything that you're going to get rid of? So these two cloths, um, you, all, most of my hosts always get these for free. So when they host and have friends over, just like you're seeing, aren't you kind of blown away by what we've already saw just by two products? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. But we're going to have another PSA. This is our third PSA. We're going to have another PSA because we kind of need a little 
break. Did you know dust mites may be the most common trigger of the year-round allergies and asthma? Oh, dust mites. So has anybody ever really thought about dust? How many of us like to dust?
So no, all day long we are absorbing whatever we've cleaned with. So we're still not even getting rid of those chemicals if we're using a Tide or something. So it's just something to think about. Who makes ours so good is it is highly concentrated, but it is free of phosphates, SLS, SLES, chlorine bleach, fillers, optical brighteners. Animal, we do no animal testing and it's free of dyes and fragrances. So it doesn't have any of that and it cleans like you would not believe. So just a teaspoon in an HE machine will do a full load of laundry. So uh, 200 loads of laundry for this bag right here. So it's extremely economical and it gets rid of all odors and it's really amazing. You could also use this as an everyday cleaner. I might go ahead and just dilute a little bit in a spray bottle. I can use it as an everyday cleaner. I use it to clean my carpets, um, my makeup brushes, you know, the hood vents that get all greasy. I can take those out, dilute a little bit of this in some water, put it in my sink, and it just gets all of that grease right off. So there's multiple uses. So when we are cleaning our microfiber, we want to make sure we're using a free and clear detergent that we're not going to um, gunk up our fibers. Um, we want to make sure we're not going to use any clean with any linty items, no fabric softeners, and no dryer sheets because we don't, again, we don't want to coat our cloths. So they do need a little bit of special care, but once you use this, you're never going to go back. So this is the fourth product in our safe five. So our last thing is sometimes we just need a little bit more elbow grease. Have you ever noticed sometimes it's hard to get maybe your oven clean? And usually if I'm at somebody's home, I'll do their oven. So I've already preheated it a little bit. I've, I've done the oven, and but since we don't have an oven here, but that's when I might say, "Oh, when head me over to your house, I'll clean your oven too." And so I'm just going to do the um, the marker. So sometimes you see a little bit more extra elbow grease, and so insert our cleaning paste. So a lot of the things we use, maybe like a barkeeper scrub or soft scrub, they have something called an endocrine disruptor. With this, we don't have anything like that. This is free of um, PBAs. It doesn't. It's basically um, our marble flour is our main ingredient, and you're going to see that it's pretty solid. And it becomes a paste when we use it with a little bit damp. So it's a solid. This has lasted me almost two years. So it's going to last you a very long time. And then what I do is I have my 20 ways cleaning paste and I hold this up and I pass it around as I talk about it. And I say, so we're, these are some of the ways that you can always you can use it. It removes permanent marker, um, scuff marks. I can use it on my headlights, on my car, and definitely in the oven. So I'm gonna pass this around. You guys can look at all the different ways you can clean. But I'm gonna show you how well it gets permanent marker off. So what I'm gonna do is, can you guys think about some ways, some things that you're already gonna eliminate from your home by using the four products we've already talked about? Well, if this works, no more oven cleaner. Okay. And I, I sprayed that the other day and I almost passed out because it was so strong. Yeah, so you feel like you have to leave. I mean, you feel like it's toxic and you shouldn't even be around it. What else? What else can we get rid of? Grease. All right. <laughs> How is your towel? Soap I can get rid of the Windex, the Clorox, yes. the disinfecting wipes. Um, paper towels. All right, you guys, look at this. You guys got me covered. You're thinking of all the ways you can already use the products. You're thinking of what you're already eliminating. That's awesome. So let's just see. Permanent marker, Sharpie. So I actually had one of my consultants, I forgot my Sharpie one day, and her husband tricked me and gave me this really tricky um, it looked, did look like a Sharpie, but it was permanent marker. And I used it and it got it off. And he said, well, we couldn't even get paint thinner to get that off. And now his wife is a consultant. So I'm taking this just a little bit. You see how easy that's coming off, off the tile. So just, it really cleans super easy. And this is just, again, when you just need that little bit of extra elbow grease in a jar. And I have been using this tile for over a year now, and you can see it gets clean every time. So that was the safe five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so that was, that was the safe five. So can we already think of like all the um, benefits that we're having and all the products you were able to eliminate? We're saving time. We're saving money. We're improving our health. We're also improving our health. I'm sorry, I have a loud voice. So I am used to projecting. <laughs> so we're gonna play one more game. So we're going to do the Ask Me About My Job game. So everybody has a question on here. I'm just going to pass these out. 
And because you're probably thinking, I could do that better than she just did it, right? How hard can that be? So um, let's start with you, Linda. What's, what's the question? Um, did you buy all of these products that you've been demoing? Did I buy all the products that I'm demoing? No, everything that I've showed you comes in my starter kit, so I have not purchased anything. So I have gotten it for free. So thank you. I'm going to give you a little bit of our older eliminator. How much do you earn per party? How much do I earn per party? So my average party, an average party is about $500, 500 to 550 So I average a, a minimum of 175 but I've made as much as 400 per, per party. Can I sell more weeks casually or part-time? <laughs> Can you sell more weeks casually or part-time? So I like just said I make about 175 plus per party. So it just really depends how much you want, how much you want to earn. So we create a goal, and whatever goal you want to earn, then we'll figure out how many parties you need to do. But you can do it part-time, full-time, casually, or we can say big time. How much does it cost to get started? So to get started, it costs $10. And you've seen, you'll get everything that I just showed you. So they really start you up for your business. You also get catalogs, you get order forms. So you get everything that really, to launch your business from the very beginning. Here, I'll give you a little more. So I give everyone laundry detergent um, or the odor eliminator that I've created. Uh, so they get a good size laundry detergent. And then the odor eliminator, I got these on Amazon. These are pretty cheap and I just printed out some labels and it's got the, the flavor the flavor of it. So, so after I do that, after I do the ask me about my job game, then I um, say, do we have fun tonight? Should you guys have a lot of fun tonight? Mm -hmm. Cool, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna head out the catalogs and if you could just fill out the, for, the, the beginning of the order form, I'll show them the order form. So just fill out the top portion of the order, order form for me. If you have any questions, we're gonna be over in the kitchen. I'll be checking you out. Please feel free to ask me any questions. Again, I wanna thank Thank Linda for hosting, but just before we close out, I just want to show you everything that you can get for hosting. So my average um, hostess, this is what they earn, and I'm going to just, I'm going to use your hands for a minute. So my average hostess, they're, they're, this is the rewards for this month, we get this, get this, get this, you would get a dishcloth, you'd get another dishcloth, you'd get an enviro cloth. You would get a three pack of our body cloths, which I know I didn't even talk about. Those are amazing. You'd get a window cloth. You'd get this pomegranate chenille hand towel we're running out of room yet. Our little mini, uh, our Enviro cloth. Our awesome odor eliminator. Our bathroom cleaner. Oh yeah, see it's hard, huh? Our spirit sponges, well, those are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> our microfiber cleaner. So I have two hostess bags. So the first two people, if you guys want to get all of that, the first two people who want to host, I have a little bit more. Oh, wow, so awesome. Oh, there you go. I'm so, thank, thank you. You can toss all that back in here. But oh, you don't want to let it go. Exactly, exactly. These people were good. I love them. And so that's really, and so then I just end up and, and check out. So that is um, the end. Um, oh, the mop. I didn't talk about the mop. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so I would have talked about the mop a little bit. So use this as a, as a hostess thing. So with the mop, I would say, how many of us like to mop? No, we find it's kind of hard. So just like I explained the Enviro Club, so with our, and, and our adjustment, so with our mop, now I'm kind of thrown up. So, with our mop, it has the telescopic handle. And this also comes in your starter kit. If you decide to join, this comes in your starter kit. So if we say um, there's three options you can buy tonight, which is like one of my favorites. You can decide to host and either get it free or heavily discounted, or you can join and become a consultant and, and get it in your starter kit. So it comes with a telescopic mop um, handle. And what I like to say is kind of do a karaoke height, kind of tighten it. <laughs> and so this is like this is our dry mop and with our dry mop it is basically like having a dust mint on the bottom so it's going to eliminate your room and your dust pants you're going to be able to get your dog hair your cat hair up crumbs and it just really attracts it just like the dust mint does so i do this using a figure eight motion 